Hello there, dear doers, and welcome to this video on search engine optimization, or SEO. Imagine having a beautiful store that no one visits because they can't find it. Well, that's what happens when your website isn't optimized for search engines, like Google or Bing, to name a couple. SEO ensures that your site appears in search results, bringing in more visitors and potential customers. Search engines work with algorithms, which analyze your site's pages, considering hundreds of ranking factors like keywords, page loading speed, and visitor numbers to determine search result rankings. So it's very important that you optimize your website and content to fit these algorithms. Now, SEO is not an exact science, and there are many opinions on what methods work, work best. Thankfully, Odoo offers several features that help you apply the most reliable SEO methods without dealing with technical complexities. So let's jump into our database and see how to get more traffic organically. Okay, first, let's talk about meta tags. Meta tags are HTML elements that provide information about a specific page of your website to search engines and visitors. Now, to look at these, let's go to Site and then Optimize SEO. Now, here in this preview, you can see how your page is shown on a search engine. Here, you can set your title and here the description for each page. If you don't set these, they will be generated by search engines based on your page's content. Now, a good meta title should be between 50 and 60 characters and include your page's primary keyword. Your meta description should be between 140 and 160 characters, relevant to the content and unique for each page. Don't just copy-paste the same text for every page. Now, you can change the URL over here if you want, but what really interests us are the keywords. Keywords are crucial for SEO, as they help connect your content with what people are searching for. So the keywords for this article would be, for example, mannequin piss. I just write it in and I can press enter and it appears. Uh, we're going to take another keyword, for example, statue. Then we're going to put Belgium and we're going to put Brussels. Okay, so now Odoo shows us how these keywords are used across our content. For instance, for mannequin piece, which is the first one here, we can see it's included in our header one, header two, in our title over here. It's not in the description, which is the D here, but it is in our content, so throughout our article. We can also see which other keywords people search for that are related to our keywords over here. So if you're not happy with your keywords presence throughout the article, just add them where you think it's necessary. Now, of course, mind your content still makes sense. In the end, if many users find your website easily, but none of them engage with your content, you'll eventually lose more visitors than you have gained. Okay, so let's save. And now let's optimize our images. So we'll click on Edit, and we'll select this image, and we'll look at the image size, which is over here. Now the size affects page loading speed, which is essential for SEO. Odoo automatically compresses images and converts, converts them sorry, to WebP format, which makes them smaller and faster to load. But still, if you think the weight could be lighter, don't hesitate to change it over here. Now, you should also add alt tags to your images. These tags, which you can find here, they provide context for images to search engines. The description tag over here is what is shown when the image can't be displayed. And the tooltip below is a text that appears when you hover on top of the image. Filling in both of these fields for each image will have a positive impact on your SEO. Just be sure to describe the image with relevant keywords and try not to use any function words, such as the, in, for, that, and so on. For example, for this image, I would just say statue, mannequin piece, Belgian, oops, Belgian football uh, shirt. Uh, instead, and so I wrote it like this without function word, instead of saying a statue of mannequin piece in a Belgian football shirt. Now, note that if you use an image from the Odoo library, so one that you didn't upload yourself, the description will already be filled in automatically. Now, one last thing to take into account when you write your content is to structure your text by using titles, subtitles, and paragraphs. You can do this by selecting a portion of text, for example, this one, and then clicking here on header two, small, normal, and so on. This gives search engines an idea of the structure of your text. Just make sure you never have more than one header one per page. Now let's save and let's talk about redirections. 
If you want to change a page URL, it's best to redirect instead of replacing the URL. That way, you don't lose the good SEO you might have for your current URL. So to manage redirections, first copy uh, the URL you want to modify. So in my case, it will be the one for the services page. I'll just copy it right here. And then we'll go to configurations and then to redirects. Now, know that you have, note that you have to be in the developer mode in order to access this option. Let's click on new and we can give it uh, a title to this redirection so you can find it easily. So we'll call it services i oops services itineraries. And here you can set the reason why you're moving the URL. So in my case, it's not temporarily, it's moved permanently. Then I copy paste uh, the current link and then I write the new link. So I'll copy paste the same link and then I'll change the end. So instead of our services, I would like it to be our itineraries. I can select on which website this change takes place, in case I have more than one website. And if I click Save, now each time someone goes to the old link, he or she will be redirected to the new one. OK, now let's talk about three technical aspects of SEO. The first one concerns robots text. If we go to our settings and then we scroll down, we see the robots text option. Now, these robots control which pages search engines can access. If you want to change these, you can easily do so by clicking here. Another technical concept is sitemaps. Sitemaps provide information about the pages, videos, and other files on your site and their relationships. Odoo generates and updates a sitemap automatically, helping search engines understand your site's structure. Lastly, there are what we call hreflang tags. These tags specify the language and geographical targeting for your multilingual pages. In other words, it ensures your visitors always get to see the page that's best fitted to them. Now, you don't have to worry about these three elements, but it's good to know that Odoo has always got you covered in ensuring your site gets the best SEO results possible. And that's it for this video. By following these steps, you'll no doubt improve your website's visibility and attract more organic traffic. Thank you for watching and see you the next time. Bye-bye.